So I've got to make another one of these relieve cuts because this is a floor that I have to put on the Kilson and I have to remove this material. All right, that's five eighths and then it tapers to zero. Five eighths to zero. So to kind of cheat, instead of chiseling all this material away, because this is Douglas fir and it is pretty tough uh, sometimes to tool. Um, so what I do is I'm going to take my jigsaw I'm going to do my initial relieves in here with my jigsaw and then come back with the chisel to take out the bulk of the material. Okay, so I got the jigsaw ready and I'm going to try to record this and work at the same time but I don't know how well I'm going to do but we'll see. So. need to get my stand again so let's see as you see I kind of make it to the line right you see the see the blade the blade is right before the line and I'm sticking out on the side so now slowly So that it's right before what I want to take out. Now these lines don't have to be straight or pretty, but that's what they are sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to press pause because this is hard to do while talking. Okay, so here are the initial cuts. You know, they're about, I don't know, sixteenth to a quarter apart. And it takes about five to seven minutes to do that. And a couple of them I went a little too deep on. <laughs> the first one, this one here, and that one. But most of them I held off pretty well. So again, it goes, it bevels from zero to about five, eight, five eighths. And you see I also didn't go deep enough here. Um, this, again, this is a rough framing piece. But if you were gonna do this cut on a finished piece of lumber, I would still hold off maybe uh, sort of like I did here this is about and this is actually about a sixteenth off um, I guess a sixteenth to an eighth is what I would leave off if this was a finished piece but it's not so you know it is what it is and the same thing here you see I got tried to get as close as I could uh, with a lot of them most of them are pretty pretty decent as long as the cut doesn't go uh, this is a really good zoom too you know that's too deep that's about uh, 16th in there so when I come and clean this out with the chisel it'll be pretty decent again this is rough carpentry so it doesn't have to be that perfect but just wanted to show that to you and my technique is I lock the the, the machine on and I have one hand I really need help <laughs> I have one hand in the front like that but not down there, right? And I have my other hand perched in the back. And I, I slide it forward until the blade gets close to the line like that. And then I tilt it down ever so slightly to finish at the bottom. Come out, move on to the next one, go forward slowly then tilt it down. So that's the technique I use uh, to kind of cheat if there's some master carpenters out there that would perform this with other tools. That's fine. This is just the way I do it. Um, so let's go ahead and get the chisels and get it cleaned out. I'm pretty sure this is going to bounce all around. But here we go. So, where's the chisel? Okay. So the fat part of the chisel, right? You want away from where your wood's going to be relieved from. So basically, if I were to do it like this, it may make the cut a little bit bigger than I needed to. So I'm going to put the fat part of the chisel, the part that's going to be removing the material, where I want the material to come away. Alright, so let's see how far this bounces. Not 
good. I thought the camera would be bouncing a lot. It's not moving too much. Okay, so let me let you get a look at that. As you can see, it's coming out and it's just, you know, missing where I need to be by about a quarter to an eighth. And I can actually be more aggressive with the chisel if I want to be. And I think I will be. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, where's the camera at? The camera's down there. Yeah. So I'm going to turn the camera off and get a little bit more aggressive with the chisel. And I'll show you what I want to finish. Okay, so I wanted to show you exactly how good you could get that cut with just a chisel. And, and if you can see that, that's basically down to zero. And I will work on this to clean it up. But I want to show you, like it's not to the line exactly. And what I do there, I take my chisel. And I'm not doing this because I don't have my hand on it. I have one hand holding the camera. But then you slowly take out the material. I actually would have my hand on. Oh, how can I show you? Okay. Turn the camera around. I actually would have my hand. I don't know if you can see this or not on the back of my my thumb area and I slowly would guide this to remove this material uh, to get it to where I need it to be or I could come the other way and get that right up on that line and start to take it out that way or you could come across from the side and take it out like that if your chisel is nice and sharp and this chisel is not too sharp but you can hold the chisel like that and slowly work at it to take the material away as much as you need. But this is that old school, take your time, have a glass of lemonade, and work away at your woodwork. Uh, I guess it's like whittling. Really get your mind off of stuff and work on your wood. So. If you can see that there but it's getting right up on that line like I want it and it's just the finesse work just slowly you know working at it to whittle little fine pieces away all right so I'm gonna press pause and come back so here we are with the finished product again this is a rough cut not a finished cut see there are a few places where it got a little deep with the chisel but this is <laughs> Again, a rough cut. So that's acceptable for what I'm doing, which is attaching this to the Kielsen. And that's quite a big uh, angle, you see. That's again, 5 eighths of an inch to zero. Uh, I think that's still a pretty good cut to be done by hand, pretty much. Again, a few gouges, but it's pretty much right on that line. So I'm happy with that down to zero got a really late start today I had <laughs> a failure in my house my air condition went up on yesterday on Friday and I had to get on that first thing this morning actually I went and looked at a job first thing this morning um, if my fraternity brother on 25th Street is watching it was your project <laughs> I have a um, a potential client that I'm doing an estimate for to do some blueprints uh, for his property. He has a commercial property that he just bought and is intending to lease. And so I had to go do some measurements to uh, provide a proposal to do those uh, CAD drawings for him. And then I went and got my air condition mechanic, brought him over, and it took about five hours to fix the AC. I didn't really work on it but I sort of was paying attention <laughs> um, you know and I did come out and do a little bit of stuff on the boat while he was doing what he was doing um, but we finished up around 4 35 o'clock then I came out here to finish working so really late start today not a lot accomplished but I'm glad I got this accomplished and if you've been following me for a while last January I mentioned one of my um, 
floor is being in the wrong place. It's about four inches um, too far aft that I have to remove and relocate, essentially. But instead, I'm just going to make a new one, and that's what this one is. I'm going to leave that one up and just trim it uh, for the hull as the hull shape. More strength. <laughs> At any rate, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up. Mosquitoes are really kicking tonight. As we used to say, they're kicking like Bruce Lee. But <laughs> thanks for watching. And again, thanks for all the encouragement for those who chimed in last week. Um, definitely good to get back out here and get some work done. So until next week, peace and blessings.